pentagram dedicated to Henry Foreman. In the years of the primal force, in the dawn of terrestrial birth, man mastered the mammoth and horse, and man was the lord of the earth. He made him in hollow skin from the heart of the holy tree. He compassed the earth therein, and man was the lord of the sea. Yo, this is Mrs. Layla here, talking for Finnegan, because we're reviewing Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. Um, I've never seen any other Sharknados, because honestly, I thought it was stupid until, like, now I'm seeing this now. So, I'm getting proven wrong here. Ooh. So, um, the beginning of the movie starts out when I'm um, the main character. He's getting, is getting a, um, a trophy for his bravery on killing all these sharks, and guess what it is? It is a golden freaking chainsaw. The Order of the Golden Chainsaw. Go ahead, try it. The acting is horrible as hell, but... Come on, come on, give me a gun! I can help! That's what's so good about it, it's like a trauma movie. Without tits, of course, but... Yeah, and then things got out of hand really fast, like things escalated quickly. <laughs> as soon as he was getting this award from the president, who, by the way, is Mark Cuban, from Shark Tank, mind you. Like I said, it got out of hand really fast. Bada bing, bada boom, a Sharknado happens and everybody in the White House is getting eaten by sharks. And then the um, credits start, start and it's just like this really knockoff Ramones band. <laughs> now they're in Universal Studios with like those family members. Um, and well, Grandma gives 18 year old, whatever the fuck's her name is, money in Universal Studios. That's not really smart. Grandma. Love the new hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. I like it too. Oh my god, this movie's acting is so bad. What about you? It's all good. The doctor said the baby's doing great. As long as it's healthy and I'm there when it's born, that's all I can do. people that you don't like getting eaten alive by sharks. The President of the United States called for an immediate evacuation of all of the cities that are on the eastern seaboard of the United States, but it's still very premature. And do you know anything about the nature of these shark storms? Uh, are they growing in size? It, it appears that they are, but no one knows for sure. It's still premature. I'm sorry, Tom. I've got to go. I've got to get to a boat. <laughs> and then these reporter teams are like doing something that pretty much almost no one does in most um, movies. They notice the protagonist's family doesn't really get hurt. <laughs> yeah, there's something to chew on. And things escalate quickly again when a Sharknado comes out of nowhere and things like trying to drive to Florida. He takes out the gold chainsaw again. I thought he lost that in DC, by the way, but yeah, he takes out the gold chainsaw again, and boy, he's acting like a badass now. Honestly, I think this movie should be like, you know, this whole trilogy should be a drinking game. I will make rules for that later. It's nice to know Frankie Muniz is still getting rules. Shark off the lips. Basically, this movie in a nutshell. I felt like no one I've ever met. And is it me, but Frankie Muniz is always playing Malcolm in ev almost every role. Yeah, sorry, this is Lucas. He helps maintain the beast. Travel with your own mechanic now? Arr, arr. Shark in the pool! Someone sharked in the pool. Arr, arr. Now they're talking about when shit hits the fan, like if multiple Sharknadoes were like come together. Just joining us, let us bring you up to speed. We're in Washington, D.C., and we had thought that this storm had passed. It now appears, though, there is a lot more trouble brewing. I think we're going to start calling it the Feast Coast, and that's because for the first time, it looks like there's not one incident, but multiple pockets of Sharknadoes developing, and that cities up and down the eastern seaboard are being put on red alert, Natalie. It will cause a shark a cane. Ah, um, Malcolm got his leg bit off. He's totally going to totally take back what I said about Frankie Muniz. Yes, he might be Malcolm in Sharknado, but he's like the Black Knight in Sharknado. Both his legs get bitten off and his arms, and he had the self-destruct button on the top of his RV. Mind you, that he climbed with one leg just to self-destruct it. Jerry Springer gives Ian alive for being a fucking tourist. Silva, come on! Everyone gets inside the Universal Studios globe and now they're like fucking stuck on this building. In the middle of the shark. <laughs> George R. R. Martin gets killed in the movie theater while watching like, like watching like a three-headed shark. But like the funny thing is like all these like upscale celebrities are doing this this like bunch of parts in this movie but without any speaking roles. <laughs> David Hasselhoff is Finn Shepard's dad. She's even 
prettier than her pictures. <laughs> Get this too. They're going in fucking space. And coincidentally, David Hasselhoff is an astronaut who happens to be friends with like a president who happens to be a colonel. This whole thing is just like a, someone who is like a six-year-old wrote this script, kind of like Axe Top. Yes, I'd be a great president. First off, I would abolish the word please. Anyone who says the word please will go to jail for 100 weeks. What? Oh, fine. The baby scene? Really? The baby comes out of the shark. Bloody. With a chainsaw. From a chainsaw. From its mom's detached hand. Oh, it's a prosthetic hand. Mind you, the baby looks so fucking fake too. Hilarious. And the Hoff is on the moon. There's a bunch of dead sharks, mind you, but he's on the moon. And apparently sharks can survive space. Fuck logic. Tara Reid, well, we're kind of surprised that she survived this part. And we're like, alright, whatever, it's just like the second movie. And then she dies by a, um, part of the spaceship. But she dies, finally. Fucking A. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Turns out you can vote if she lives or dies. That is insane. Her fate will be revealed in Sharknado 4. Honestly, I think it should be called Sharknado 4 Shark King. Or Sharkopolis. Or something like that. Uh, anyway, anything I forgot, here's Finnegan saying.